Yo, hello guys, and welcome to another reaction video on my channel. Today, we are going back to Vaz because he, a couple of days ago, uh, more than a week actually, released a new gaming memes compilation. And the past ones have always been very good. You guys seem to have enjoyed them very much. So did I. Um, so I thought this is like the perfect opportunity to take a short break from <laughs> from Matt Rose and go back to Vars. Um, as always, link to the original videos in the description. Show him some love, help him to get to the 2 million mark. And let's not talk so much because the video is a pretty long one. Let's go. A non-gamer versus a gamer's head. The life of a gamer. But only if you use a gaming headset. If you don't use your headset or you use in-ears, then you're not gonna have that. What a beautiful- Or you're just, you're just straight up bold. Full day. Time to start gaming. Me. Walks over video Yeah, regardless of the day. If it does damage. Fire does damage. Me. Get some sleep or- one Impossible. More game. One more game. When you realize you can join the army at 16, but must be 18 to purchase Call of Duty. America, bro. What? Mods in so real fuck. life. Streamers. My game. What? 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 Be eighteen to purchase Call of Duty. Mods in real life. That is nightmare fuel. Like Thomas the Tank Engine is already like fucking scary, but getting chased by it IRL. Game lag for point one seconds. So bad. Me. Forty three hours remaining. Okay. Do you drink? No. Jesus. No. Then how do you enjoy life? Gaming. When you're having a great time gaming, then realize yeah. it's four thirty a.m. Add large googly eyes to your ghillie suit for added psychological. I think that kind of defeats the purpose. Offer. Define peak mobile phone game. Still. Ooh. I mean, I would take away Flappy Bird. Fuck that game. But the other three. Yeah. I would agree. Well, hasn't been an era of mobile gaming to defeat this. Brain, yeah. reload. Me, why? Brain, you gotta. Beating the game. Yes, yes. 100%ing the And every single time in that moment, that very moment, you reload. Game. Enemy comes around the Number corner. Of bullets needed to kill you in game. Number of bullets needed to kill you in a cutscene. Cyberpunk Mark Zuckerberg looks more human than the actual Mark Zuckerberg. How others run. He still looks terrifying. If you ever feel useless, just remember GTA has traffic lights. No console is better than the other. You True. The one you grew up with. Faking tasks to not be sus. Faking tasks to seem useful. Male actors voicing characters getting hurt in video games. Female voice characters voicing characters getting hurt in video games. This uh, wait, what? Okay, yeah, yeah. It always ends up sounding less like pain and more like moaning. This is the man, and this is the female. Game developers fixing a bug which skips the entire game. Speedrunners, game achievements. Just open the game to get this achievement. Don't take away my reason for existence. 23% of players No. In real life, random things are laying on the ground. Not my business. In games, pick everything that is pickable. Hey, yeah. Yo, why is my render distance so low? Stop. Wow. Gotta upgrade your IRL graphics card, bro. Playing. I have a big bug on my wall. Wait, please. Oh no. Potatoes left the match. Where is Potatoes? Is he safe? Is he alright? Ten years study he got finds eaten, bro. between playing video games and violent behavior. Me what? Nah. If we showed us our parents who talked shit about us for years, they're still not gonna believe it. Like they're gonna believe the most outrageous um, fake news from their random fucking telegram groups, but they're not gonna believe that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. Toxic gamers and good gamers. Is this a hacker? I reached the end, but bro, I got hurt. Damn, I don't need you anymore. Wait, there's an end? Wait, is there legit an end to the, that mini game? Because I always, like, get fucking destroyed in this one. I, I mean, to be fair, 
I don't really play it often because I can do different stuff. I only have to do this one. But it's an actual end. What? Well, gamer girls today will be mothers that understand an online game can't be paused. Traitor, how dare True. you play the PS4 when you work for Xbox? You died 27 times and only killed three. My game lagged. Imagine you die and then you see this. Level complete, free play unlocked. Me during a hard section. Ah. Huh. Replay unlocked. What does that... How can I... Replay? Can I switch, like in the LEGO games, between every single character I want to be? That would be pretty fucking dope. ...in the game while on 1 HP. Me, on the same section with full HP. Her, telling me I'm such a good listener. Me, having spent my life watching unskippable cutscenes for stories I couldn't care less about. Dad? Yes, son. Why do Prepared we have you two controllers and only one car on... Oh no, he's gained consciousness. Horror game. Adjust the brightness so that the logo is barely visible. Me? No, I don't think I will. Yeah. Googling or asking <laughs> no. other players how to play the game. Spending way too much time figuring it out by yourself. Mortal Kombat players, when three of their ribs get Get shattered nah. and they lose 50% of their blood. Oh no! Anyway, wanting to replay yeah. your favorite video game every single time that means you have to play through that part. The lockdown won't be. Ooh. Oh. Is this like. Weirdly enough, pretty much all of my favorite games have this one part that really isn't that much fun. It's not particularly like to the point where you don't. Want to play it anymore but it's not that fun be that long the pretty much all of them me. it's just a game stay calm enemy throw your controller at the wall talk to frightened woman you bro what the fuck but i wanted to say something for to this meme in my case it's not throwing the controller i just smack my desk very hard and since my desk is not the most expensive thing that I have. Um, it it moves or re reverberates a little bit. Although saying that, that is my, maybe a little bit of an understatement as well. And it has gotten to the point that if I smack it very hard, sometimes the keys from my keyboard just fall off. Like, I don't even touch the keyboard. I don't smack it, because I know if it's gonna break, that's gonna be annoying and expensive. But just from smacking my desk, sometimes the keys just fall off. But, that only happens with very certain games. I would say, in general, I am more... Okay. M maybe not, maybe not so composed, but... Only with certain games where I lose my shit. The game, stay calm, enemy. Throw your controller at the wall. Talk to frightened woman. You okay? She's just frightened. Frightened of what? She can't see. Reality, the worst game ever. Art teacher, you can't change Ooh. a picture just by taking out two. No, I wouldn't say reality as a whole is the worst game. I'd say certain aspects of reality are the worst. Like, work and school and everything that doesn't revolve around free time you know reality the worst game ever art teacher you can't change a picture just by taking out two squares everyone damn it the door is locked she oh my god oh my god especially like those ps2 era games how many hours do you have in this game? Me? 3,000 plus. So you're a good player, right? Mm, about that. Game gets worse. Paper at least. Keeps playing it. When you are beating your friends on Mario Kart, but then you realize you are looking at the wrong screen. Moments before Ooh. you dying. A cat attack. Rich people, poor people. People who lost the game, but still say GG. Mobile games in 2012 to 14. We are made with lots of effort and development. Oh, the most yeah. are a huge success with many players. Mobile games now. If someone comes up with a stupid idea, it Gets turned in. And then they always put ads on YouTube videos with their shitty ass games. 
or sometimes do you have like ads for a different mobile game in a mobile game it's like so fucking absurd it's so crazy they have zero originality these ones were fucking goaded really awesome games that you could play for like hours on end and it would not get boring and these ones like you pass the the 45 second mark and you're like what the fuck am i doing with my life to a game who would win a social life full of great friends and huge opportunities some weird looking box minecraft we all know the answer trees floating but play minecraft get really into it die and lose all of your stuff quit for six to twelve months her i want a guy who's willing to take risks me when you wander into a high level area by mistake 12 year olds in 2013 oh. i am still scared of hero brian the game and the learning curve co-worker yeah why do you always look so or you find this cool game that you want to start playing but the intro to the game plus the tutorial is like an hour in itself like very long games like rpgs or something like that like i remember monster hunter world i think that yeah that was the one bro the whole intro sequence the whole beginning stuff is like an hour plus bro i just want to play I don't want to have to go from shop A to, to shop B to talk to person C to finally get stuff done. I just want to fucking play. Like, I've got a life outside of my PC. Tired. Me. I have a life outside of her. Me. Outside of work. When the friend who just started the game where you have 2,000 plus hours on says he wants a 1v1. Me. Listening to music. Bad mistake. A game that doesn't require much attention or overthinking my life. When you try to play a game to forget how much of a mess up you are. But you just keep messing up in game too. I play on PlayStation. Cool. Oof. I play on Xbox. Me at parties. I wish I was at home playing video games. Hip firing a shotgun. Yeah. This is ADS on a shotgun. When you're playing an online game and you see this person on your team we weren't expecting special forces a character is going to turn it all around on his own how your journey is over a sad version of the main theme plays in the background when you defeat a difficult boss but its health meter fills back up for phase two me oh. that shit is terrifying after quitting without saving three hours of gameplay You know, if that happened to me, I would just probably never play the game ever again. Like, I don't remember which game it was, but it was definitely a game I played back then on the Xbox 360. And this was like when you had like the, the Xbox Live Gold and you got free games every month. I played the game, it was pretty entertaining. I played for like one and a half hours. And then I think the Xbox crashed or something. And it did not save the progress. And I never ever played that, day, that game again. Because I just could not be bothered to go through the entire beginning, the tutorial, and the introduction sequence again. Because, bro. Hey, this would make no. me never play the game again. The game when you were a kid versus the game when you replay it. Me healing myself. Oh, that's so sad. Times in a row. Boss heals himself once. Me and quick. You cannot do that shit. What the, the fuck, bro? Team. Me and ranked. Why can't I get a single kill? When your mum tells you that you will be bored of video games when you grow up. Kills. <laughs> boys don't have it's just a phase. When the rest of you have to carry the highest ranked player in the party. I use social media in what? my free time. I play video games in my free time. I sleep in my free time. Ooh, true giga chat here. What's up with my tracking right now? I think we already had a bit of issues in the last one. Hmm, seems to be okay now again. I spent all day doing side quests instead of progressing the main story. I know you're talking about a video game, but this is actually a really good metaphor for my life. When I look, yeah. I, I did the same thing at work today. The side quest being my phone and the main quest being my job, you know? 
put into a game and realize I'm going to be fighting my Wi-Fi instead of my opponent. Movie. Oh. This is based on a true story. Oh. Also movie. After my four-year-long girlfriend declined my marriage proposal and moved out today, I treated myself with this beauty. This is sad. Only game. Is that Enzo? The Could funniest be worse. thing is that they really weren't the imposter. Orange was there. Didn't report. I did not care about it. You defeat the boss. His health bar starts refilling. A faster version of his theme starts playing. The lyrics are in Latin. I remember. Bro, if the lyrics are in Latin, then you may as well just quit. You're done for. Remember when playing outside was better than any video game, but uh... then everything changed when the gaming industry attacked. Uh... I'm a bit on the fence with this one. Like, absolutely, I did love playing outside as a kid, especially playing football with my friends. I could do that every single day for hours. But I've always loved video games. Like, I don't re quite remember when the first time I played a video game, but I do remember one of the first ones. I was four years old and I played Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 on the PC. That was one of my first. It was not the very first, but it was one of my first. Pretty much the first one I remember. So it could have been even earlier than that. I've just always loved video games. It was better than any video game, but then everything changed when the gaming industry attacked. Unsure if this teacher has a quest for me or if I should do that side quest at the door. Assault rifle. Good question. A pump action shotgun. When you've been playing a game nonstop since release and you get into a lobby where you're the lowest level. Yeah, like Black Ops two times. I thought I was playing a pretty decent amount, and then you get into the lobby and they're like four times your level, and you're like, bro, how? Like, do you have a life outside of it? W what? I organized our base, bro. Now organize it in real life. I oh, I am. A little bit guilty of that as well, to be honest. Steroids. Asteroids. Uh, watch me whip this guy out in the middle of Rainbow Road. What the Road, fuck? When you keep dying in the exact same spot in a game. Oh me yes. Oh yes. To play until we win, and now both of us haven't slept in three days. Me doing side quests, doing the story. Recommend. Two thousand four hundred hours on record. They fixed an issue where players enjoy the game when you find. They fixed an issue. Oh my bad. I didn't mean for you guys to have fun. Let's let's just patch that right out and make your game miserable again. Only find allies in a level, but they're immediately killed before you can do anything and leave you to fight enemies all by yourself again. Kids watching adults have enough money to buy games. Adults watching kids have enough time to play games. Oh. Oh. And as as an adult, it's not just um time it's also sometimes the motivation like you get home from an exhausting day at work maybe possibly perhaps even worked up the courage to go to the gym afterwards then you go home and then you gotta do your laundry or cook food and you're just fucking exhausted you just want to relax it's tough sometimes the evolution of garbage trucks the mobile game in the ad versus the mobile game you installed. yes Others, yes that's yes just a lightning bolt gamers oh my it's a mystery box You're the so teleportation bad, spot it's skilled based matchmaking literally ordered an xbox one and this showed up at my door sorry i just couldn't watch you make this mistake sincerely your fbi agent we've sent a payment to your bank ah? account for two million bells for what you left in the drop-off box did you sell what? a villager there is an overwatch streamer that is playing from a rehabilitation prison cell. What? Did you get in there because of Overwatch? That's so cool. Exclamation mark prison. I have been placed in the Idaho State Rehabilitation Prison for gang-related carjacking. They have allowed me to stream from here as a form of enrichment. Video Bro, she's streaming from prison and she has better gear than some other people. What the fuck? Video games taught me that this dude will sell the strongest gear later in the game.
and it's going to be fucking overpriced at that. When your squad member lands in a completely different part of the map, we were supposed to be a unit. Suck my unit. Me getting mad at the game and telling myself that I'm never playing it again. Me getting on the same game again three hours later. I'm not saying I'm yeah. definitely an NPC, but if I'm the protagonist, the game I'm starring in is probably free to play. Makes sense. I can only do something useful once every few hours. Ads are everywhere. The PC oh. seems designed to be deliberately frustrating. A lot of the hassle would go away if I had a ton of money. No and the thing is, IRL is not even free to play. You need money to survive, even if it's shit. Nobody, every kid's wallpaper in 2014. No. I had a different one. It was like, it was like a bunch of gaming franchise logos, but Minecraft was also on there. But yeah, I get what you mean. So glad I grew up with this, not this. Kept misinputting, so I yes. burned my controller. An insanely hard picture for no reason. Mum, can we get a VR headset? Mum, no son, dad already has the VR at home. The VR at home? No one has good- Taking immersion to the very next level. Taste in games. We all have different tastes, and that's okay. Burning out of your favorite game. Nah, I'm not sure about that one. Again. Gamers will understand. Free user versus paid user. Yeah. When you're on a lose streak, and someone says it's just our game. Yo, you're the one who sniped me oh, out of the, the helicopter in Warzone with a car 98 without a scope on it. Yeah. Well, I hope you have the worst day of your life tomorrow. Loot time, enemy <laughs> versus fighting time. The enemies are definitely messing with the Wi-Fi. How it started versus how it's going. The PS2 had three different GTAs. GTA 5 has had three PlayStations. Bro's a strategist. So fucking so wild. In chat, and in team chat, he said, go be. Me saves, clicks exit game. Game. Are you sure you want to exit? Any unsaved progress will be lost. Oh, you're right. Saves. Evolution. Yes. I bring yes. Spoon to my face, then I'll bring my face to the spoon. Me. Do you play Minecraft? My friend. Ooh, no. The graphics are terrible. Minecraft. Oh. Finish nice. a boss fight with one HP left. How it feels having to yeah. watch yourself get killed on the final kill cam. I oh, yeah, that's a tough one. Especially if it's like super close. You're like, one, both teams are like one kill off and you're the one that dies last. You just feel guilty and I shit. Like the ocean because only there do my tears seem small. How the hell do I talk to people? Stand in front of them and press A. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. You just jumped. This review is honestly <laughs> really appropriate. Recommend. Had 12 kids with eight different women. Became president then died when I tried cooking spaghetti. 10 out of 10. Tell us what you remember about the virus. Sims is so wild, bro. Well, basically a thousand hours in Animal Crossing. What? 1k hours on Animal Crossing. Bro, what were you doing? What the fuck? We as a society need to start hyping up all the pixel cows from video games. Air assassination today versus air assassination in my childhood. Gamers when there is a chest behind a waterfall. How original. Gamers when there isn't a chest behind a waterfall. Would you play a video game for- Of yeah, course I what would. The fuck? I have. Spending 3k on a new gaming PC. I don't have time for gaming. You played games with your- Why you just use it to browse it on the internet for job listings? Because your life fucking sucks. Friends, yes. What did it cost? Alarm set for two hours and fourteen minutes from now. When you have to Like honestly, if it's that small, the time window for sleeping, you might be better off just pulling an all-nighter. Because if you sleep for like one hour and then you have to get up again, you might just feel worse. Like maybe just pull an all-nighter, get some caffeine in. And just go to bed early the next day. To delete a game to make storage for another. I'm sorry, little one. People oh, yeah. Yeah, especially with how big games are like nowadays. Fortunately, I have like multiple hard drives and like eight terabytes of storage or so. So that isn't that much of a problem for me, but absolutely people keep telling me they can't believe i play on a switch light and like come on the screen isn't that small dark souls not recommended i'm an atheist and this game genuinely had me looking to the bible for help an educated zombie <laughs> after 0 0.1 hours <laughs> he just fought the tutorial boss for like two tries and just <laughs> 
I mean, yes, honestly, given this up. Guy, this game genuinely had me looking to the Bible for help. Uneducated zombies versus educated Bro. zombies. Hello, we are about to launch an all out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. Yo, when Plants vs. Zombies came out, it was such a fucking cool game. I still play it nowadays, occasionally here and there. It's so cool. It's a, it, it's like so such a simple concept, but it's so much fun. It's so cool. Teacher. Okay, class. Today we will be talking about Greek mythology. Yes, that's legit what happened with me. We talked about Greek mythology, and I've played like um, God of War on the PSP, and I was just like, yo. God of War on the PSP plus Titan Quest. And I was just like, you're fucking expert on that topic. Like, you ask me about some mythical creatures, bro. I, I have them all. I have them all. Kids who played God of War. About to play some PS4. I'm not your typical girl. That is not a PS4. Bruh. Has to be rage bait. I won't talk to him. Yeah, so he knows most likely. Mad. Great, she hasn't bothered me all day. Defeat your enemies <laughs> while you have the chance. Nah, Mario would rather invite them all karting. Everyone, watch the movie. It's not that scary. The movie. Flaming chat when you lose. Flaming chat when you win. Most of these Minecraft memes I don't get because I don't know much about Minecraft. But I'm sure there's a lot of suffering involved there. Saying GG when you win. Always saying GG. My life in one picture. There's definitely no way I'm always saying GG. Single. When you max out your character <laughs> before playing the first mission, character gets shot slash stabbed during gameplay versus character getting shot and the same thing that happens to them but in a cutscene. It's so much worse. I'm asking you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions. Why is it that in video games, rare is always dark blue and epic is always purple? Yo. I don't know. If I would have to guess, it's probably. I think probably Diablo started our trend and everyone just jumped on board. That would be my guess. Like some some game became big and did it like that and everyone copied them and then just it became like an unwritten law. Oh, they got Minecraft bread. What? Imagine walking Bro. downstairs one day and you fall into hell, just like grandma did. Hey, teachers. Video games called violence. Mean what video games? I joined a new server and someone left this by my house. I am now emotional over a virtual block cake. Welcome to the neighborhood. Don't, it's got fent. When you're the only one lagging in the group. This goes against Fredax. <laughs> oh, <the> <laughs> that that was me in the past. Plus B squared magazine. Me, should I buy this game? Brain, no. Wallet, no. Parents, no. Cat, no. You Universe, no. Me, sold. Friend, I'll be on in 10 minutes. Me, you said that 30 minutes ago. Never trust them. Never trust that. Set up a time, like a, a fixed time, like 7 p.m. or 8 a.m. or something like that. Because if they're like, oh, 10 minutes, it will never be 10 minutes. It will be like an hour. Exactly. Man pays seven hundred and fifty dollars for a piece of paper he thought was an Xbox One. <laughs> I remember. I remember back um, during COVID, like when the PS Five and uh, what's it called Xbox Series X um, came out. When all the scalper uh, just bought it all out all the stock out and then sold it for absurd price at prices like i remember it was like an article someone bought like the box of the ps5 on ebay and paid like seven eight hundred bucks for it and it said in the listing that it's the box but like right at the end and he didn't obviously read because why would i read if i'm gonna pay 800 fucking bucks for something right bought it and no, he got the packaging for the PS5 for like 800 bucks. And since it's exactly what he ordered, the box, he couldn't return it and just paid 800 bucks for the box of the PS5. I thought that shit was so hilarious. Like, it's your own fucking fault if you can't even read. Like, I get it if you're buying, bro, I don't know, something really small for like 15 bucks from Amazon, okay. But if you're paying 800 bucks for something, you would think someone would read the description first. 
Dolphin. When did they add baby dolphins? Can you please put it back in the water? I'm really glad I got a physical copy of this brand new game so I can download 60 gigabytes off the disc and then install an 11 gigabyte update. And oh. these opening logos to get to the main screen and then a five minute loading screen before finally getting into the 12 minute cutscene before playing the hour long tutorial teaching me how to play the game. This is the thing. This is the problem I have with modern games. This is why games that like more 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 recent games that I play are basically all indie games. I hate that shit so fucking much. Like if I'm playing a game, if I start it up for the first time, I want to play it. I don't want to have an hour long cutscene or tutorials that teach me. Oh, if you press your stick forward, you can walk. And no fucking shit, Sherlock. I hate that stuff so much. Like, this is part of the reason I hate modern games so much. You can't enjoy shit. How did this get so many likes in just 10 minutes? Because it's a cold truth we all suffer from. Let's yes. expand your video game taste. If you enjoy Animal Crossing, you should try cleaning and organizing your actual living space. Ooh. Maintaining friendships as an adult. Well, hi. Good morning. I think the last time I talked to you was something like 48 months ago. <laughs> yes recommended you can do everything you can't do in real life like casting magic and talking to girls he proposed damn to the sold dude. yes he is the one marry him immediately i was streaming in 2017 while this guy is streaming in 3017 loot box crazy box versus cardboard box my sim's son built this after his dog died i don't think he was handling it very well man this what the fuck all the classics he wants all to join him or what the world. when you spend three days downloading a game and your computer won't run it me listening to my dead teammates call me trash for not clutching the 1v4 Bro. when you just installed a game but there is a big update my mom why didn't you go play with the neighbor's kid the neighbor's kid my motivation Ew. to play after losing all my stuff in lava gone to nil me just trying to complete the game's main quest random npc i have several quests when the kid you talked trash Bro, shut up. tells you your full name address and ip yeah as a kid this would actually scare me but now i'm like okay thanks i guess my son yeah like bro I don't fucking care. And how are you supposed to know if that's my actual address? Maybe I'm using like a VPN or a proxy or something. Like, come on. I got his PS5 yesterday, and today he's waking up saying he doesn't feel good so he can stay at home. Absolutely not. You hating. Nuketown? Look, if you let it slide and let him, let him know that you know what is going on, but you will grant him that one day He's gonna remember that forever. I promise you. 2025 is literally next year. We have officially reached Unk status. Bro. I never ever thought of it that way. Just Bro, what? PC. Me switching to PC so I can be bad at the game in 165 FPS. Yes. Video games cause violence. Me while playing. How to make TNT, Minecraft and FBI. Not yet, Ferb. It's getting late and I don't want to be late for school. Night dudes, see you again tomorrow. Last online five years ago. Architects and Ooh. Yeah. I'm sure if I looked at my Xbox friend list. Which I haven't done in probably like five years as well, to be honest. But yeah, it would probably look the same, if not worse. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Guys Ooh, yes. Yes. Bro, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is fucking cool as well. You'll see this and think, hell yeah. The per Bro, of course. Perfect pillow doesn't exist. Hey, you, you're finally awake. I can't. <laughs> I love this meme so much. I can't believe the fact that my boyfriend has almost 600 hours on ACNH, but almost has zero terraforming done and barely any parts. And when I asked how the hell that's even possible, all he had to say was, I like to fish. Hans Jorgen Olsen, <laughs> a 12 year old Norwegian boy, saved himself and his sister from a moose attack using skills learned in World of Warcraft. What? When the moose attacked them, the first thing he did was taunt and provoke the animal so that it would leave his sister alone and she could run to safety. Once he was a target, he feigned death, a skill he had picked up at level 30 in the game damn games be like yo he's the chosen giga chat what the fuck like april fool's update actual updates when the loading screen goes black and you see the reflection <laughs> me planning my future versus me planning my minecraft house sony making movies versus sony making games look
Yeah. Yeah. I think we can all agree on that. Team for clay in Minecraft be like level 150, level 1. PSP. Wait, 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 what? making games looking for clay in minecraft be like level 100 one of these things is not like the other i think 150 level one. what the PSP navigation is still usable if you remember the psp is such a cool it, it's it's such a fucking cool console this you've been here a long time my first and only I do. tattoo so far that i got at 18. you all got any cover-up ideas just ask blizzard they're good at covering stuff up video games Ooh, isn't mighty shots fired pens do not battle nor swords poetry mighty is the hand that knows when to pick up the pen or pick up the sword i refuse to go that way it's too bright for a horror game something will jump out at me and go Ooh, boogly woo uh, boogly woo is that from out outlast i was playing sky Wars on minecraft and some guy started flying in killing people all of a sudden the guy next to me flew up and they had a mid-air battle while everyone watched he killed the first guy and then left the game himself he was a nice guy for doing that the two hackers the perfect night doesn't exist when it's rain thing is if everyone else is gonna do it as well the wi-fi is gonna suck ass but in general, yes, I would agree. I am and playing Minecraft, that is the best feeling in the world. Rate my grandma's setup. How much did that cost? He got a f Grandma's got that RGB setup. She's gonna stitch. Come on, man. Move your head. There you go. She's gonna stitch the RGB right into your sweatshirt. 40, 90, Ryzen 9. This is a matter of opinion. Who is Mario and Luigi's reliable? I, I thought it's a reliable sidekick. Definitely Bowser. Headache. Stomach act, stomach act. Okay. Doubling up beds in Minecraft, knowing you have no one to sleep next to. Username unavailable. Ooh. This username is unavailable. So no shit. Straight. No shit. You think PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii are retro? I do, and I'm tired of pretending they are not. Well, I would say it depends on what you define as retro. They're like two console generations in the past, so I guess, yeah, they could be considered retro. Not the Xbox 360, no. Not the Wii either. I would say Nintendo 3D, like the DS, yeah. Updating Steam. Okay, but what changed? Oh, yes. Yes. I've never noticed any change from that. It's just updating and you're like, okay. But literally nothing has happened. Nothing what changed. was what was the Nothing point of wasting my time? Nothing. Which game had you like this when it was announced, but like this when it came out? This there was one game. In my entire life, I have pre-ordered only a single game. Because I generally think that pre-ordering is dumb. Um but this game, like um this was a Transformers game. Like Back in, bro, I don't fucking know, 2014 or something like that. I played Transformers Fall of Cybertron. It's like a, a third person shooter with Transformers. And it's so fucking amazing. Till this day, one of my favorite games. And then they announced a successor. And it was originally planned to be like an actual successor to be like Fall of Cybertron 2 or whatever they want to call it. And then Hasbro decided, you know what? Um, no, we've got this Transformers movie. I think it was Transformers 4 or something. Yeah, I think it was Transformers 4. We're just gonna make this game a cash grab and just make it with the same characters from the movie to sell more copies. And they reused basically every single asset they could find. Like I think somewhere in a, one level there's like a texture file. If you look really closely, where some, where like one of the developers put in like a message, and it said I think like something along the lines of "We only had less than a year to make this game go easy on us" or something like that. Like they took over the developing process and basically said, "You know what? We're not gonna make a good game." We're just gonna reuse assets and make a fucking terrible cash grab. And that game was called Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. I knew that it was originally supposed to be a successor, and I heard, oh bro, a new Transformers game. I was so fucking hyped. So the first 
the one and only time in my life I pre-ordered a game and it was fucking dog shit. It was genuinely one of the worst games I've ever played. Like, they reused assets and mechanics from the previous game and somehow made it possible to have these fun mechanics not be fun. Like in one game, in one level in the in Fall of Cybertron, you can run around as like this dino robot, robot and throw flames and just eat your opponents and and kill them. It's so much fucking fun, and they reused that shit in Rise of the Dark Spark, and they somehow made it not fun. Like you're a fucking gigantic robot dinosaur that can f spit flames, and it was boring. It was genuinely one of the biggest disappointments I ever had while playing games. And that taught me a valuable lesson to never ever pre-order games again. But soon we're going to have Titan Quest 2 come out. And I am a bit on the fence about this. So let, let's see where it's going to go from there. This is me in terms of the Minecraft movie. Heard about it, seemed really, really cool, really hype. Looks awful. You can tack on and dragons after any title and it will be 900% better. Dungeons and dragons and dragons. That's twice the dragons. You literally cannot go wrong with this. Can you describe your favorite game as boring as possible? Weirdest thing about video games is finding new clothing slash armor for your character on dead NPCs. Like, it's such a shame Greg died, but thank God his pants are just <laughs> my size. It's such a shame yep. the spider died. Good thing he was carrying pants a helmet and a sword i think we had that in the this meme in the last video as well right and having someone watch you play video games is an underrated way to spend quality time together fishing in normal video games yeah versus fishing in subnautic i remember my cousin playing dark souls and i just watched him play that's that's how i got into contact with the game basically it was really enjoyable just seeing him struggle but also overcoming those struggles it was pretty entertaining yeah I remember that. I can't play Subnautica. It's too scary. My parents to me. You can't. I, I bought Subnautica like two, two or three days ago. And I plan on playing it. Because I think it's a cool game. But I also fucking hate horror games. So that's going to be fun. I've considered maybe playing it on stream. But I am still a bit on the fence about that. But we'll, we'll see. No, my mum and dad, well, my family in general, they let me play any game. Me to my yeah. future children. You can't play that. Why? It sucks. Here's a better game. I know Raid Shadow <laughs> Legends is bad because I've never seen not safer work of any of the characters. Six works in Raid Shadow Legends video game. Yeah, I knew it was bad, but this is dire. Me at my gamer funeral on my gamer deathbed is dead. Priest, my fellow Your gamers, today we gamer press deathbed. F, but from here on, crowd. <laughs> we Bro. must press W and move forward. Everyone Bro. equips their hats. <laughs> Band claims Rockstar Games offered them 7.5k the to use their song in GTA 6 with no future royalties. Their response, GTA 5 made 8.6 billion, go screw yourself. We got damn GTA 6 drama before GTA 6 when the game journalists have to review the docs. Now to be fair, 7.5k with no future royalties, I wouldn't accept that as well. Like, I think... You guys probably heard of Dragon Force. Like, if not from the band, like, you heard the, the song Through the Fire and Flames, like the, the fucking fever dream of a, of a song on Guitar Hero, highest difficulty and stuff. Back then, they paid the band 10k for that song. A fucking Guitar Hero. And Rockstar is paying 7.5k for GTA 6. Like, come on, bro. Got damn GTA 6 drama before GTA 6. When the game journalists have to review the Dark Souls remaster, it's like the Dark Souls are. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts because I'm ill. Oh, oh, it needs to be some sort of machine which just makes me unable to. I kind of like sneezing, but not when you're what? ill. It hurts. I think one of the worst feelings when it comes to sneezing is when you can't sneeze when you need to sneeze. Who would fall for this trap? Gen Alpha. This is going in a Gen Alpha meme video. Wait, wait. This thumbnail. This thumbnail was for me. Oh. Oh, uh, that's from the King Kong movie. Oh, uh, that's the one thing I remember from this movie. Oh, uh, 
Ugh. I remember watching that as a kid and just being fucking scarred for multiple days. Ugh. Anyway. Come on. Start tracking again. Come on. The video is almost over. Come on. The final section. Okay. Maybe the light... Yeah, my light is not turned on. Maybe that was the reason. Maybe I should fix that for the next video. Anyway, the video is over anyway. Um... Yeah, 45 minutes. Again. I hope you were able to sit through all of that. Um, once again, good video compilation from Vars. Gaming memes, nice and relatable as usual. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to support him. If you have some suggestions, leave them in the comments below so I can or react to them. And... I'm sure we're going to be back with some Mad Rose in the future soon. Um, thanks for watching. Have a nice Saturday. And maybe we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.